Today, pups of a long extinct species are seeing the light of day. ABC's Andrew Dembert is telling us how scientists are claiming to have brought dire wolves back to life. It's a howl 13,000 years in the making. Dire wolves walking the earth for the first time since the Stone Age, thanks to a remarkable scientific breakthrough. The dire wolf is the first de-extinct species. Until recently, the only way to catch a glimpse of the bygone beast was to watch Game of Thrones. The dire wolf is a sigil of your house. We were meant to have them. But now... Texas-based Colossal Biosciences has recreated the canines by implanting fossilized genes into the gray wolf. We've taken a gray wolf genome, a gray wolf cell, which is already genetically 99.5% identical to dire wolves, and we've edited those cells at multiple places in its DNA sequence to contain the dire wolf version of the DNA. Colossal giving ABC News an exclusive glimpse inside their lab. That animal looks like a dire wolf, it will behave like a dire wolf, and it is a dire wolf. But as dire pups Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi grow, so does the controversy surrounding their existence. Ecosystems are very delicately balanced, and nature is far more complicated than our ability as humans to understand it or to understand all the possible unforeseen consequences. Some critics claim these new wolves aren't actually dire wolves since they share so much of their DNA with their modern day counterparts, while others are concerned that de-extinction efforts could have unforeseen or even deadly consequences. The bottom line is a lot of the genome we still do not understand. And so one wants to be careful if you're mucking around with genes that there may be things we don't understand. You may produce a wolf that's twice as ferocious. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.